Hi guys, so welcome to this video and in this one we'll take a look at emergency functionality versus service functionality and the cloud. We'll do a quick recap on uh, connectivity methods. Uh, we'll ask the question what is emergency and what is service functionality. We'll talk a little bit about cloud functionality and take a look at the difference between a professional and enthusiast license. We'll also explore some examples from each functionality set. Okay, let's take a quick look at what functionality lives where. Emergency functionality lives on the GS911 device itself and is always available in any mode or any setup. So typically you'll be using emergency functionality in the field with your smartphone, even if you do not have internet access. Service functionality resides on the GS911 Windows PC application and the Hex Cloud. If you do not have a Windows PC device, you'll be accessing service functionality via the Hex Cloud. That means Mac, Android and iOS devices will need to be in infrastructure mode to access service functionality. Right, so let's take a closer look at emergency functionality. What is it? It's the ability to do an auto scan, view ECU information, read and clear fault codes on all control units and view real life sensor data on all engine control units. Emergency functionality is embedded on the device and it does not affect the 10 bike VIN limit you have on your enthusiast license, unlike service functionality. That means uh, you can use emergency functionality to help as many friends out of as many muddy ditches as you care to. It's uh, always available in any mode or setup because it is embedded on the device and it does not require internet or the Windows PC application. You just need your smartphone when you're out in the field. Now let's talk about service functionality. It is the ability to reset service reminders, do output function tests, calibrations, ABS bleed tests, the clearing and relearning of adaptations, and much more. It is accessed via the Hex Cloud or the Windows GS911 PC app, and it's different for each model of motorcycle because each model has different components, of course. Service functionality does affect the 10 bike VIN limit you have on your enthusiast license. So if you want to service an unlimited number of motorcycles, you'll need a pro license. Service functionality is what makes the GS911 Wi-Fi such a powerful tool and it gives you service center levels of diagnostics and functions. For the latest level of service functionality for your motorcycle, go to hexcode.co.za and see the function chart. Let's take a look at some emergency functionality. Browse to your bike's model, choose engine controller, then real-time values. In this case, we have our GS911 Wi-Fi hooked up to a R1200 GS Adventure. And on the left-hand side of the screen here, we have a Windows PC laptop with a PC application installed. And on the right side, we have an Android phone with the GS911 Wi-Fi application installed. In this case, we're connected via infrastructure mode, but uh, emergency functionality is available anywhere, anytime, any place, no matter what mode or setup you have. To prove this, we'll do an auto scan in D2D mode. That means the Windows PC on the left and the Android phone on the right are both directly connected to the GS911 Wi-Fi's own Wi-Fi hotspot using device-to-device -device communication. This very basic setup also allows you to view ECU information, read and clear fault codes on all control units, and view real-time live sensor data for all engine control units. If you're not familiar with the auto scan function, it will give you your bike's VIN numbers, the odometer reading, the distance to the next service and the service due date. It will also give you a summary of all the bike's controllers, their part numbers and relevant information. You can also see a readout of all fault codes, both current and historical. The Windows PC application will give you full service functionality, even without internet access. Here we will do a component function test using the Windows PC application only, with no internet access. We browse to our bike's series, then model, then choose engine, then service functions, and then we choose BMSX output tests. And below that, in the drop-down menu, we select the component we want to test, in this case, fan. You will hear the fan when it's actuated. Let's do exactly the same component function test, but this time using an Android phone. As we've said, Android, iOS and Mac needs to be hooked up to the Hex Cloud in order to have service functionality. You'll notice that service functions is now indicated with a Hex Cloud icon. Again, you browse to the series of your bike, choose the exact model, then choose engine controller, 
then choose service functions and you'll see the hex cloud icon there. Then from the BMSX output tests, you choose fan. Again, you'll hear the fan when it's actuated. Right, let's do a quick summary. Emergency functionality refers to the following functions. The auto scan, the viewing of ECU information, the reading and clearing of fault codes, and the viewing of real-time live sensor data. These functions are embedded on the device itself and are always available in any mode or setup. Service functionality, on the other hand, includes the ability to reset service reminders, do output tests, calibrations, ABS bleed tests, the clearing and relearning of adaptations, and much more. It's available via the GS911 Windows PC application or the Hex Cloud. That means if you have iOS, Android, or Mac, you have to set up in infrastructure mode to have service functionality. And that's it. Done. Thank you for watching.